Hi guys, welcome to another wine review by myself, The Natural Sommelier. I hope you're all keeping safe and well and drinking obviously some deliciously awesome grape juice. Tonight we're going to be tasting the 29 v, uh, 2019 vintage sorry, of the Gamme Det Rosé uh, from Thierry Michon. Okay, now Thierry Michon is a really big um, sort of biodynamic wine player in the Loire Valley. Okay, He's located just south of the Muscadet, which for those who don't know is at the far extreme of the Loire Valley, right down by the Atlantic coast. Okay, Now Thierry's uh, father purchased the vineyard that this wine comes from in 1970 okay and Thierry took it on shortly as I say after that okay the wine we're going to be tasting today is a blend of Pinot Noir, Gamay and Grollo Gris okay and as I say it's a rosé it's a hundred percent biodynamic and for Thierry Michon biodynamics isn't just a form of viticulture it's almost like a religion to him he's super super keen on the idea um, to the extent where he's actually purchased buffer zones around his vineyard to stop other chemicals and stuff from other vineyards coming into his zone. Okay, so he takes it very, very, very seriously. Okay, so they have around 37 hectares uh, planted. Okay, with the average age of the vines in there between 15 and 25 years old. Okay. Um, the vineyard itself is a lightly exposed southeast um, facing vineyard with a blend of uh, schist and clay soils in there. Okay? All of the harvesting is done by hand. The grapes are then sorted and then crushed by foot in the massive food um, in the uh, winery. And then, as I say, the wine itself is aged for around seven months in stainless steel vats. Okay? So here it is. Let's have a little taste and see what we think. Okay. I've never tried this before. Really, really, really excited. Rosé is one of those um, styles of wine, particularly in the UK, that a lot of people really like to drink. Um, they like a very pale uh, rosé. They're almost like quite sapid and quite thin. Um, I, I personally like my rosés with a little bit more oomph behind it, a little bit more character. Um, so first glance, actually, I think this is looking really nice. It's got a little bit more colour to it than most, almost like this sort of deep salmon-esque uh, kind of colour to it which is really exciting. Uh, but let's have a little smell and see what we think. Wow. So it's quite an interesting style of rosé, actually, because, um, you know, French rosé, you, you often find, um, comes from somewhere like the Provence. It's quite popular. Um, you know, but wines from the Loire, um, particularly the rosés, which I'm a huge fan of, I'm not going to lie, do tend to have a little bit more weight behind them. Uh, for me, this wine has this lovely sort of deep, crunchy red fruit character to it. I'm getting lots of sort of wild strawberries and raspberries and red cherries and things like that. It is quite interesting and quite unique. I've never tasted this before. Um, I've tasted some of his other wines before. I think his Chenin Blancs are, are just awesome, highly recommended. If you ever want to give them a go, his Cabernet Francs are just out of this world as well. But um, it does have a slightly floral-esque character to it. I'm guessing lots of sort of um, red violets and red tulips and things like that as well. It's a little bit spicy. Um, on the nose as well, I'm getting lovely aromas of sort of, uh, you know, like sort of like cardamom pods and things like that, which is quite, in which is quite interesting, you know, it's quite unique. Wow. I am getting a little bit of minerality, I'm getting that lovely um, sort of wet rock s character. I'm getting a slightly turned earth mushroom s aroma to it as well. But it certainly is really, it, it's a very unique style of rosé. It's a very food style of rosé. I haven't actually even tasted it yet, but it is actually a very food-esque style of rosé, which I quite enjoy as well. But let's, uh, let's have a taste and see what we think. That's really interesting. It's not quite what I was expecting it to be actually, because on the palate you get this medium body. The salinity is definitely there. You know, my mouth is watering, which is really great to see. But it does have a little bit more body to it than most actually, and I actually quite like it. It has a slightly creamier feel to it on the palate as well, which is really interesting. I'm getting that, um, you know, slightly sort of strawberries and cream kind of character coming through on the palate. Lots and lots of vibrant red fruit as well. 
the acidity is very persistent there's a hint of bitterness coming through along with that spice and that turned earth character that i got through on the nose as well it was just delightful actually really really interesting mm. i'll tell you what for a rojo that is incredibly quaffable and one that I think I could drink quite a lot of quite easily, actually, I'm not going to lie. So as I say, for those who like their rosés and maybe want to try something a little bit different, for those who are used to drinking rosé, say, from the Provence and the south of France, they want to venture out a little bit further, or for people who just want to try something a little bit different, a bit new, I'd highly, highly recommend getting hold of it. I think it's delicious, actually, for what it is. Um, as I say, the wine is available from Bonvina, okay, for £17.95 um, from their website, which is www.bonvino.co.uk. That's B-U-O-N-V-I-N-O.co.uk. Don't forget to check out my website, thenaturalsommelier.com. I've got loads of new material going up there soon. And to also check out my Instagram page and um, get subscribed up on there as well, okay? Stay safe, guys. Until next time. Cheers.